Hi, Trisha here again. Um, and this is our um, watercolour Christmas card series. And in this video, we're going to have a look at classic and stylish card ideas. So let's get ourselves started. Okay, we're going to have a look at some watercolour Christmas cards. Um, I've got some watercolours out here already. Uh, to tell you the truth, these are just left over from some other projects that I've done. Um, so uh, I've got some uh, like Rose Madder, I've got the yellow, um, I've got like an Ultramarine I think here, a Sap Green, um, uh, indigo so yeah I've got a bit of a collection here um, obviously if you want to use something specific then clean your palette off and go specific with your colors um, but as we as I show you each project um, you might want to change your palette as we go I'm going to work um, I'm going to work quite tiny so I've got quite a few small little brushes here um, I've got um, a number eight here. Um, that's probably going to be one of my biggest brushes. I've got another number eight, but it's um, a liner brush. If I show you, so it goes quite fine. But then I've got a teeny, teeny, tiny brush here that does tiny, tiny fine lines. Um, so I'm going to work quite tiny for me, anyway. Some of you might have even tinier brushes. Then go for those. Um, I'm going to work on watercolour paper and I've got several pads to work on um, but you can buy um, pre-made cards so this is from a, a pack of cards with envelopes and they've got a little score on I have to say that these ones um, that come like in a pack unless you're buying quite expensive ones these are only 240 grams so they're fine just for a tiny bit of water um, on there but not too much and they're quite floppy ones so I might either use these cards um, you can get them in all different sizes this was just the first one that I pulled out this is um, 105 by uh, sorry 105 by 210 millimeters this one um, so it's quite a long card um, obviously you can get a5 ones a6 ones all sorts of different sizes um, so buy the one that's the most appropriate to you I've got absolutely tons of different ones but what I might end up doing is painting on my watercolor paper and then cutting out and then mounting that onto my card your other option is to actually cut watercolour paper, so get some large sheets of watercolour paper and cut those to the right size um, to fold into your own cards. So that's your other choice. Um, I'm not really going to go much more into card making um, during this, I'm just going to show you some different images. So hopefully um, you can uh, have a look around and see, uh, see what sort of cards you can get. That's it, um, pencil, there we go, outside. <laughs> um, pencil for sketching, if you want a pencil for sketching. Different projects have got some slightly different things, so if you're watching the whole, the whole series of them, um, then I'll highlight any extra materials that you need for those projects, but that's about it really, your bog standard setup. Right, this one, uh, we are going to do, well, I'm going to do some ball balls some little baubles. So I've got quite a, a small little plastic lid and I'm just going to draw some circles on here. Thank you. 
right so think about what the uh, what the idea is here now these two I'm just gonna show you kind of different ways to paint some baubles um, and we're just going to talk about different ideas but I've popped these two together just to show you that if it was on a card like that you know it'd be quite nice to have a couple overlapping so just have a, a little think about that and then I'm just going to put this little It's like a little cap thing that attaches your bauble to its bit of string. And you can make it, you know, a little bit more crinkly if you want, you know, or you can keep it quite plain entirely up to you how you want to go on there um, obviously the other thing that you could do is you could do um, a little loop on there you know so depending on how you want to work this um, yeah I think the other thing that you can do is Obviously you can come in with your gold and silver pens if you want to. So maybe if you painted a, a loop, let's do it on these ones over here. Let's just leave that one. And we'll, we'll paint a, a loop on and then we'll get a pen to come up there. Okay. Right, so first thing to think about, I'm going to do it on this one, it is um, a a ball shape, a cylinder, a cylinder, a sphere, a sphere um, that when it catches the light, and I'm going to have the light come in here, this is going to be my light area, right, and this is where I'm going to be darker. So we can have a little go at making this look a little bit more 3D. So I'm going to wet around. If you can see, it's like a little shine on there. I'm just going to create a tiny little bit here and I'm just going to lift out a shiny area there. And I'm going to come a little bit deeper, come with some of this purpley indigo in here actually. that so you can create a really nice shiny bauble. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to leave that one to dry a little bit. Right, so you another option is this one. Um, and we'll go with this indigo. Indigo? No, violet. Blah, blah, blah. Don't know what I'm talking about today. Going with this violet here. my wet brush and I'm just going to touch the edge as I go around. in here more than I wanted just because the paint was quite wet so I'm just going to dry that off but to get that nice flow still I'm just going to add a, a little bit of clear water in around the outside of that again to allow that to flow into Do the same as this one if I want to and lift a little highlight out. And a bit deeper colour in here. And try and get that up there. If we've got to miss that bit there. There we go. And I'm going to leave that to dry a touch and then as that dries I'm going to come back in on it. Okay, so this one here we can be a, a tiny a little bit funner and fancier. just going to go very carefully around. Oh, can you hear that? It's just started raining. Sorry if you're going to hear the rain now. Oops. Oh, look at that little wibble there. Okay. So now, entirely up to you what sort of pattern you want to put on here. Around, sorry, so I can uh, get in.
Now remember to do these edges. Yeah, don't forget that this pattern is supposed to go all the way round. So it will come on and off these edges here. bit of colour into some of these so it's just not all the same so anywhere that's just a little bit wet I'm just going to dot in and then a little bit of that colour run along Just going to put little dots in. It's a bit nicer, isn't it? Those sort of sets of three. starting to dry off a bit and I'm just going to try and crisp up oops I thought that was a clean bit there but it wasn't that's where my in there. I'm just trying my brush off on my tissue there so that I can pull it down there and then I'm gonna just dampen that edge to get it to bleed in A bit too, too damp, haven't I? In there, I'm going to have to come all the way around. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here in a bit. So this is a quite nice one, you know, that you get that sort of glow coming out. But uh, first off, let's go in some clean water. And let's pick up a little yellowy orange. gold in here
Well, I suppose you can also do these any colour you want to. Let's turn this over while we're here. Let's get this on. Ooh, very careful here. Try not to touch too much. I already bled in a tiny bit there because it was wet. So I don't and do this one here and I'm gonna go so I'm just gonna leave a paper down which is where I'm just leaving a tiny dry little bit of paper in there where I don't touch that pinky color hopefully well I have managed to touch that yellow <laughs> Get a bit of tissue. And dry that off. If you can bear to wait a little bit longer, then good for you. Um, because then you wouldn't, you don't have to have this little white gap between. You wait for each one to dry. from that one on there. There we go. Okay, so I've got a black pen and I've got a white pen here. So I can just draw over this. So I could do just lots of coloured ones and then I could Here. 
So that's a quite a nice one. I think this this black stands out a little bit too much for me. But So they're really nice ones and this one you can do all sorts of patterns you could do stripes or swirls or you know stars and all sorts of different things you know so you're just kind of making this like a little glass bauble with the uh, with the, the paint on the outside here we're getting that nice glow from the bauble um, and here we're just trying to get that nice 3d effect all the time so this is a just a really nice one really nice strong vibrant colors just to play about with a little Christmas card there we go okay this one that I'm gonna do now I don't know if you can see clearly or not I've put a little um, sketch down on here um, and I'm just going to do a really sweet uh, Christmas present one. Um, I suppose it depends really what uh, what colour scheme you want to go for. So you could go for reds and greens, which would be really nice. Um, but I've been doing a lot of mine with these blues and pinky purples, so I'm going to stick with that. Right. I might put something on my ribbon later, but first off, I'm just going to go around. just going to fill in as I go just blocks of colour now you could of course do this very snazzy with stripy paper all sorts of stuff but personally for me I think if I go over too much what I'll end up doing is I'll move that one out I'm not really using that one because I'm using the colours on this one um yeah I think it'll get a bit messy
right, I'm going to move up and work up here. Oops, where am I going over there? I'm guessing I'm leaning in too much here because it's so tiny this is, I can't quite see what I'm doing. So I do apologise if I'm if I keep popping into shot. deeper blue no. and I'm going to just run it in the corners here on the bottom there Take this blue and I'm going to really water it down. Okay, so it's really quite watery, and I'm drying my brush off quite a bit. And I'm just going to tint over kind of the corner edges here. Take this 
darker blue. Okay. Bring it up here. So I'm trying to just very lightly just put in, you know, trying to exaggerate those corners a little bit, if that makes sense. So to crisp everything up, such. Uh -huh. So let's have this one going this way. Okay, so on this top one, I'm definitely going to put a kind of yellowy gold. Um, ribbon. Come in here, and I'm just gonna ruch that there. And I'm gonna go with a slightly deeper orange, and I'm just gonna tint the edge there. Very light yellow one 
this one. Spots on that one. Okay. And then, so I could just leave it like that, and actually, I'm just going to put a little wash down the bottom here. I could just leave it like that there but um, I had this gold pen so I think I'm just going to about it being too precise it's not a really dark pen so it's not massively standing out but it's just enough to give a little um, implying the shape a little bit more Don't forget, visit my website for your art resources, follow me on social media, like this video and subscribe to my channel.